So we're in an LC200 VX Land Cruiser and we've installed our multimedia system that we're going to use for integrating caravan cameras to the factory 9 inch display. So we want to walk you through how some of the features and functions of this system work. It's a very simple activation via a long press of the nav button to bring up the additional camera on the factory screen. Now it's really important to understand that this does not impact any of the factory features and functions. You can use this for a long period of time, your phone system will still work, your factory navigation will still work, nothing will be impacted when you're viewing the caravan camera while you're driving forward looking at what's happening behind you. Now we've integrated a quite a few neat little functions on this system. If we just short press the nav button to go back to the factory nav, we can activate our picture in picture mode via a long press of the hang up button on the steering wheel. So there you can see that you could look at the navigation screen and the caravan camera at the same time while you're driving down the road. That is such a cool feature of our system. Now, if you want a better view of that camera image and you want to see it on full screen, we very simply long press the nav button and that'll take it back to a full screen. Short press back to the nav with picture in picture. If we want to remove the picture in picture mode, we simply long press the hang up button on the steering wheel again and we're back to the normal mode. Now, if you are on the full screen version of the caravan camera image, any of these buttons at the bottom of the screen will return you to the appropriate factory function. For example, if you want to go back to the audio screen, we can select audio and it will take us back there. Or if you want to hit nav, short press of the nav button and it will go back to the factory nav. Now another really important feature when we're integrating caravan camera into the factory display is that you have to be able to see it when you're in reverse. Now if I long press the nav button again to bring up our camera, in this particular vehicle we've integrated two cameras on, from the van. So we've got one for when you're driving forward that looks out long with a narrower view. And when we go to reverse, we're going to see a wider angle view that looks more down towards the ground. So I'll just show you how that works now. If we go into reverse, you're going to see there the factory 360 degree camera on the display. Now in order to see the caravan camera in reverse, we're going to activate what we call our RTC function. Now that's a 5 second press of the nav button to activate that. And there you can see a different camera angle looking down at the ground. If I go back to drive, you see the long view looking out in the distance. Now back into reverse, and it's automatically going to display that camera. Now this is continued, going to continue to default to the caravan camera in reverse until we reverse that process and deactivate the RTC function. So if we long press the navigation button for five seconds when we're in reverse and go back out to park, back to reverse and there we have our factory camera again. Now a couple of other features that we can implement with our caravan camera system is we can integrate the audio into the factory speakers if you have a camera that's got a built-in microphone. Simply go to audio, go to source, activate auxiliary, long press our nav button again, and you can hear the audio coming from those cameras. Now we can also add up to three cameras while you're driving forward. So perhaps you've got a camera on the back of a horse float, or you've got a camera uh, inside the horse float and you want to be able to see multiple cameras while you're driving along, well we can integrate up to three while driving forwards. So these days we're also getting quite a lot of requests for people who want to integrate a lot more cameras into the factory display. For example, there's caravans coming now that have up to four cameras on them side view cameras and two on the back. Other customers want multiple cameras on their horse float or even if you've got a CHOP 200 having multiple cameras on that plus on a tow vehicle as well. So what we've come up with is the ability to integrate a quad camera system that's completely controlled through the factory touchscreen. Now this is an optional part that you can purchase separately. If we long press the navigation button just like we normally would 
to bring up the caravan camera, we can see there the image is normal. But if I touch the screen there, we now have the option to select between up to four cameras directly. So here we have our normal caravan camera. Here we have our camera that's used for reverse on the van. Then we've got a side view camera and another side view camera. We can also select different views by going through these default ones. Our two side view cameras, our two reversing cameras. So another really cool function of this little system is that we can zoom in on a particular area of the screen. So if I touch here, press zoom, I can move the image around, hit OK, and I can zoom in on a specific area of that picture. And if I want to get rid of that, just hit zoom again, and it goes back to normal. We can also use the mode button in the top right hand corner to go through lots of other different camera modes to view as many cameras as we need to right there on the screen. Now, this isn't just viewable while we're driving forwards. If we go to reverse, activate our RTC function. You can see there that we've got the exact same functionality in reverse. So we can switch between our different cameras and see exactly what we wanna see when we wanna see it. So no, no matter what your situation is or requirements are for camera integration into your 200 series, we can generally come up with a solution that's gonna work really, really well. Now, as we mentioned before, having our premium street navigation installed is a really popular uh, option that people choose. To activate our navigation, it's a long press of the navigation button, and there you have our premium street navigation. It's an aftermarket solution that we've customized with the user interface to make it suit the Toyota system. Now, one, when you're using our navigation system, if you want to activate the caravan camera, simply long press the navigation button again, and there you have the full screen caravan camera. Long press will take you straight back to our navigation. Long press of the hang up button, again allows the picture in picture mode to be viewed while looking at the navigation also. Long press the hang up button again, and it goes back to our full screen navigation. So as you can see there, the map doesn't give you too much information, but it does give you uh, quite a few streets. It gives you the uh, traffic lights as well, which gives you a really good reference point to give you confidence about your next manoeuvre. If we hit the bottom left hand corner, we get a trip computer. It gives you your heading, your elevation, your current speed and other information. Back to our map screen, then we have down the bottom right hand side, we have our menu button. Along here, we have our quick launch favourites menu, our audio menu, so you can mute the audio or turn alerts on, etc. We have our map view, so we can change that between 2D, 2D always north, and 3D like we had it before. And then we've got a profile icon, so you can set various profiles too. Entering a navigation route is very simple. We can just go in and enter address as normal via the suburb, the street, enter the street number, and you'll be routed accordingly. Under places, we have thousands of point of interest, including Camps 10 locations, all preloaded, so that you can just simply put in a number and it'll take you straight to your chosen location out of the Camps book. We've also got our saved location, our history, and we can enter coordinates as well. If we go back into our menu again, under settings, we have route preferences. Now if you're towing and you have a big trailer or a caravan, we can set the vehicle type to caravan and we can edit in there the dimensions of your tow vehicle and caravan. So if we scroll down, we can see there you can put in fuel consumption. We can set the length, the width, the height. It's obviously set to trailer because of its, its caravan. We've got maximum allowed weight and actual weight. So you can set the total weight of your vehicle. And that's going to make sure that you're not sent down roads that you're too heavy for, or down roads with low bridges, which are gonna take out your air conditioner on the back of your caravan. 
And another important one is this disable U-turns on all roads. Now what that means is, is it's not going to send you down a dead end road that you can't do a U-turn on with your caravan on. If you've ever been in that situation, you know that that's an incredibly uncomfortable place to be. And if that saves you, then you're going to really appreciate this navigation system. Also in our settings, we can set up all the different warning types. So we can set speed limits, we can set all of our camera alerts and school zones. We've even got road signs there so you can have advance uh, notice of, of certain road signs, perhaps it's merging or steep, steep inclines, those kind of things. And you can be chosen, you can choose to alert whether it's by audible alert or visual alert, um, all sorts of settings. You can customize the system how you want it to, to alert you for certain things. Under regional here is where you can set your voices. It's important to note under the voices that we have these ones here, street names announced. Now what that means is, is it's going to route you not necessarily by a street name, but it might use a landmark. For example, it might just say, turn right at the traffic lights or turn left at a petrol station. It can really take the guesswork out of making sure that you, you, you're turning into the right street. Now the system also comes with things like enhanced junction view, uh, lane guidance, so that you're always going to know what lane you need to be in as you're approaching complicated intersections. So as you can see, the system's very simple to use, completely designed for people who are planning on touring and uh, wanting to do so safely. So that's how our premium street navigation, HEMA and caravan camera integration systems work. If you've got any questions or you've got any specific requirements that you'd like to check, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to talk you through all your options and how the system will work and answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching.